they have got a huge yard sale over here on uh, honeysuckle um, near the mall and then I'll tell you the next cross street this thing it looks like they emptied the entire house out no lie look at this cars and trucks for sale everything's for sale um, here's a cross street up here it would be uh, Hollywood and Viking is the street to the left and Hollywood and Brewer Circle is the street to the right and it's by the school there's a school right here I'm trying to see if there's a name okay there it's uh, Fort Walton Beach High School home of the Vikings and then there's a stoplight up here it's also next to an elementary school, Edwin's Elementary School. Um, right in Hollywood. It's in between Wright and Hollywood and uh, Mary Esther Parkway. And uh, I saw them, up, I think it was yesterday and the day before. So they're probably up there every day for the holiday weekend because it looks like they are leaving that house. There is so much stuff. They've got cars and trucks for sale. Just, I mean, curtain rods. Just everything's out there. Um, I didn't get a chance to stop. God, somebody's got an old XKE Jag like my mom's. Whoa. So you definitely need to check that out and and those people, they, they may be forced to move. So go down and make a purchase and help them out because it'll give them money for their next excursion. A lot of people being forced out in Fort Walton and Destin. Now that's Fort Walton Beach, Florida, that yard sale. But a lot of people being forced out because uh, the market for real estate's going up. Little by little by little here and uh, some people are getting thrown out, thrown out illegally and all kinds of stuff. So, um, be lots of yard sales because storages are getting hard to come by right now, especially. And if you're going a long way, unless it's stuff that's just really special, the less furniture you can put in a storage, the better. Because you're just paying rent on furniture when you can buy new furniture used at a nice used store or online or even at Walmart. Walmart has very nice furniture, very reasonable. You can get a dresser for a hundred bucks and you get a stack of shelves for sixty. So uh yeah. And it was ninety nine a little bit ago. It's now ninety one. Ridiculous hot, but it's better than the cold. Car lots are stacked with cars. Obviously, this person in the van is playing on the telephone. Because 20 miles an hour is ridiculous. Sunday, a lot of the businesses are closed in this area, so if you're a tourist, uh, you won't see a lot open on Sunday. The restaurants are open, but the businesses, a lot of them aren't open on Sunday. And if they are, they'll close pretty early. Dollar, Dollar Tree, I think, closes at 6 or 7 on Sunday. Um, and... Uh, the parts houses, they'll close a little early for the weekend, too. Even though this is big city over here. Because, uh, with the holiday weekend, most everybody's going to be at the beach, barbecuing on a boat until the afternoon. And they'll get out and shop a little and go eat. 
and then go see if they can find some place to hang out. Um, so most of the bars are not supposed to be open unless they're dinner houses. And I'm going to tell you, it's scary because these name brand dinner houses with a bar in them, it's no social distancing and no face masks and it's really creepy. As you know, the sickness is in the central heat and air systems. That's really where it's at. And by the by, if you have those house filter machines, which I do, um, I love them. Uh, but I have allergies and stuff, so that it gets the pollen and stuff out. Those are very, very good for the sickness. Did you know that? Yes. And uh, they have them at Walmart and some other places, but you can also find them used at second-hand stores for a very reasonable price from 10 to $20 for a real nice system. Definitely suggest having at least one. Water ferns closed today. Great place to buy used stuff, furniture, kitchenware, whatever. Excellent. Good prices, really neat stuff. And it helps the city. They donate the stuff. So I've been watching the weather in the Tampa area, uh, which is about four hours east and south of here. Um, it, uh, the temperature is running about the same. It's pretty close. And then as you move north, it gets a little cooler. And if you get really north, like up in Arkansas, stuff like that, then it's usually about somewhere from 10 to 20 degrees cooler than here. You move more south, it gets more hot. I can just imagine what Miami's like today. I bet that turkey is hot as fire. I love how these people don't know how to drive. She sees my turn signal on. She decides she's gonna get in the lane and try to be there before me. And doesn't even use a turn signal. Good luck. You can hit this one, I got great insurance. I can't believe Popeyes doesn't have a mile long line. God, the thing will be all the way out the street. And the Paris Taco Bell has been closing early, I guess. I don't like to go through that one ever because I went through there twice. And um, it's just too tight for a car. I needed to make a little bit bigger driveway there. Starbucks. This right here is Uptown Station. This is a strip mall type thing. It's pretty decent. They got some great stores here. The Santa Rosa Mall down on Hollywood uh, is booming today. I mean, the parking lot was slammed and the gym is open too. The big gym that whatever that is. I can't think of anything of that gym. 24 hour workout or whatever it's called. This is starting to slow down over here, but they'll close early because Sunday they like to close real early. I think it's like six or seven or something. Here's Ross Dress for Less. Five below, everything in the store is five dollars and below and they've got some really neat, 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 neat stuff from clothing to, to makeup to kids' toys, beach toys. Really reasonable. Ulta Beauty. Fantastic Sands. Tokyo Express. Very popular place. They don't even open the door there. They do have two tables outside. You can order um, online or by phone. And then just come pick it up. Cox Cable. Beautiful nails. And they also have their big mask sale. They make face masks wearers. Get commercial ones. Liquid Lumber Day. Lumber and uh, Max Fit Nutrition. 
Daisy Day Brands looks like a kid's store. Kim's Korean, I would not suggest it. Buddy's Home Furnishings, rent to own. That's about the dumbest thing you could ever do, rent to own. Massage Envy, lights, music. You gotta wear a face mask if you go on lights, music. You can't go in the door. The owner's older and he does not want any, any sickness. Party City. They have some neat stuff. Um, Tuesday morning has miles of stuff in that store. I don't know what they're going to do with that store. There's so much stuff in there. Buffalo Wild Wings. They also have a bar in there. And then there's a McAllister's, West Marine, a big grocery store. They got all kinds of stuff. Enterprise rent a car. That's about the worst rent a car around. <laughs> They closed the one out of Galpy in Niceville, though, so I guess they incorporated it to over here in Dustin. But anyway, happy shopping to you. Have a great day. Please wear a face mask and please respect social distancing. That means six foot away. That's that's the size of a bicycle. Two grocery carts. Okay? So we can get this thing knocked out so things can be back to normal, okay? Love to you. Have a great one.